Okay, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, load a menu and uh, also problems that you might have with loading a menu uh, if it doesn't show up. Uh, this is good for versions of AutoCAD from, say, uh, I think 2006 perhaps upwards. Um, you may be aware of uh, a new thing called the CUI, uh, Customizable User Interface. Um, I'm not going to use that to load the menu uh, initially. I'm going to use the old school way using a command called menu load. So let's try that. So type at the command prompt menu load. Brings up a uh, dialog box. What we want to do now is click on browse to find the menu that we want to load. Uh, this is the menu I want to load. So I'll click on uh, the file. Um, you notice here that it's an extension here .mnu. Um, if you can't see a file and you've gone to your uh, directory of where the menu is supposed to be, at the bottom of this window you'll see that there's uh, different uh, formats you can choose from. So there's a CUI and CUIX, which is the latest one. They've come up here as well. Uh, you can load any of those using menu load. Uh, I'll just load the menu for now. Um, before you do that though, if you do have a CUI or CUIX uh, menu, it's probably better to load that if you're using the ribbon because loading the menu uh, file, the .mnu file, will erase all the ribbon. Uh, so you, if you have one set up, yeah, definitely don't use the uh, .mnu. So I'll just go back to uh, .mnu because I haven't got a ribbon associated with this file. Uh, just click on Open. Uh, there it is, and we want to click Load. So now it's now loaded in there. We can see it there, SMC Demo. We can now close that box. Now, if we look up the top here, uh, this is AutoCAD 2014, um, we can't see any menus at all. Uh, what you'll find is there's a little drop-down box uh, just to the side of the workspaces and the title, AutoCAD, uh, Autodesk AutoCAD 2014. So if we go down to the bottom there, or second from the bottom, uh, there's a part on the menu that says Show Menu Bar. So we click on that, and as you can see, we now have our menu on there. Um, now sometimes when you're loading uh, a menu uh, you can do the method I've, I've tried with the menu load and it might show it in that dialog box but it doesn't show up on the menu. So what you need to do then is use the CUI, CUI editor. So just type CUI and it'll bring it up. Now this is the uh, customized user interface. Uh, you can use this to load MNU files and your CUI files and so forth as well. Um, I find it a bit fiddly. I find the method I showed before a bit easier uh, to do it a bit quicker. Um, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll look at this. Um, in this case, we have the menu already loaded. Um, so it's not such an issue. But what can happen is, as I said, it doesn't load. So what you want to do is select the current workspace you're on. And you'll know that, as you can see in here, it has uh, the word current at the end of the workspace. So whatever one of these four has the word current on it, select that, and then go over to the right-hand side of the screen and click on Customize Workspace. Okay, now we're in editing mode. Now we'll go back to this window over here and we'll scroll down. Now we want to go to Partial Customization Files. So click on that or expand that, as we've done here. Now we go down to the menu that we want and expand that, so SMC Demo. And as you can see here, we have a tick next to the uh, menus. Sometimes when the menu hasn't loaded, uh, that box is empty, such as I've just done now. So if it's empty, uh, click on it, left click on it, and you'll get a tick in there. If you have any toolbars, uh, left click that too. As you may have noticed, that no other toolbars popped up when I loaded that menu, so... Oops. So now that we've... Um, click that, the toolbar should come up too. So once we've done that, go back over to our other pane and click on Done. Okay, now that should all load in in a second. Now let's click Apply and OK. And as you can see, a whole bunch of toolbars are now loaded as well. I'm going to close them all because I don't want a lot of them. I was just showing you how that works. Um, and that's the sort of basics of how to 
uh, load in a menu and troubleshoot it when it doesn't show up. Um, you might find too if you're using a different workspace. Um, we'll go to drafting and annotation. But, uh, yes, that you can see that the menu bar is gone once again. So let's go up to the arrow next to the workspaces, left click that, and go back down to show menu bar. And there's our menus again. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you.